Military field watches are designed with specific features that make them well suited for environments. They are built to withstand harsh conditions, including extreme temperatures, moisture, and impact. Many military field watches are water resistant as well. What I really like about these watches are they prioritize readability with high contrast dials and large easy to read numerals or indices. Luminous markings on the hands and hour markers enhance visibility in low light conditions. I also really like the design of military field watches, which are often minimalistic and focus on functionality. This simplicity makes it easy to read the time quickly and accurately without distractions. Military field watches often come with durable and adjustable straps, such as nylon or canvas bands that can withstand rugged use. Military field watches have a rich history and are often associated with a sense of tradition and heritage. Many watchmakers have produced iconic models that have been used by armed forces around the world. These qualities collectively make military field watches reliable timepieces for individuals who require a durable and functional watch in challenging environments, whether for military purposes or outdoor activities. These are five of my favorite affordable entry-level military field watches. First up is the Seiko 5 SRPG Collection. We will be looking at Seiko's newer SRPG Military Field Watch Collection, which comes in four dial colors the tan, blue, and two black dials. Throughout this video, we'll do a deep dive into the watches, go over all the specs, dimensions, cost, and the details. Let's jump into the video and take a closer look. Within the military field watch genre, there are a lot of watches to choose from. There's the Citizen Garrison, Hamilton Khaki, the Tudor Heritage. One of the reasons why I like field watches is the simplicity in the design. Because of this, the details are what makes the difference. Regardless of price, Seiko has accomplished something really special with their SRPGs. At first glance, the dials are the first noticeable feature of this collection. The more I look at it, the more I love it. The dial is the main show of the SRPGs. The first thing that draws the eye is the contrast between the applied Arabic hour markers and the matte dials. Closer to the middle of the dial, there is the painted 24 hour markers, keeping the classic field watch design. As expected from the Seiko 5 line, the day and date are positioned at the 3 o'clock, with white text on a black background, which is a great detailed design choice by Seiko. Do keep in mind, the SRPG 3.1 reverses the date window font colors with the white backgrounds and black font the watch is suitable. to match the overall design the watch is suitable. of that model. The text on the dial has the usual Seiko applied logo set just above the newly designed Seiko 5 logo with the word automatic written in cursive situated at the bottom half of the dial. In addition to the dials being very lovely to look at, the hands also look fantastic. Let's give them a hand for how good they look. They are pencil style hands with the hour hand being broken up into two sections which adds a nice visual. The hour and minute hands have Seiko's own luminous paint, the LumaBright, as well as the triangular tip of the seconds hand and small hour marks on the outermost part of the dial. They also have LumaBright. The loom is generous on the watch. Each hour gets either a square or rectangular loom pip situated at the furthest part of the dial. The 12 o'clock has a triangle loom pip and white minute markings punctuate the area between the hour loom pips. The case is another aspect of the watch I really like. The 316L stainless steel has a matte bead blasted finish that resists both reflections and scratches really well. 39.4 millimeters in diameter, 13.5 millimeters in height, and a lug to lug distance of 48.1 millimeters, the watch is suitable for many wrists. There's a curved hard lex mineral crystal that's not as scratch resistant as sapphire, but definitely more than adequate for the price. The same material is used for the exhibition case back. The unsigned crown doesn't screw down, but the case is still water resistant to 100 meters. I do wish the crown was signed, but with how great other elements are of the watch, I'm okay by this choice to save costs on the crown and use for other areas. The SRPG's features a display case back showcasing the 4R36 movement, which we'll get into in a little bit. It has a wearable case with a surprisingly snug lug to lug, making the watch wear smaller on your wrist. The watch is definitely a strap monster and easy to swap straps due to its drilled lug holes. 
Speaking of the movement, the SRPGs is equipped with the classic 4R36 caliber, which is solely reserved for Seiko watches. Unlike variants like the Seiko NH36, those are available to other brands. The movement allows for manual winding, has 24 joules, and beats at 21,600 VPH, 3 hertz, with the 41 hour power reserve. Functions include central hours, minutes, hacking seconds, and a day date complication. Accuracy is rated at a rather unimpressive plus 45 to minus 35 seconds per day, although a week of testing have been around 20 seconds per day. Seen through the exhibition case back, it's simple and undecorated, but nevertheless interesting to look at. And it is an in-house caliber made by Seiko and includes their proprietary Diaflex mainspring, which is virtually indestructible. The Seiko 5 Sport Field SRPG collection offers an in-house automatic, a day-date complication, and 100 meters of water resistance, all for around $200. It's a true complete package and among the best overall values in the industry. The SRPGs offer a sleek, no-nonsense design that'll go from the water to hiking trails to the office without skipping a beat. Second on the list is the Citizen Garrison. The Eco Drive Garrison, or also called the Chandler, Retail price of $159. The dimensions are a case size of 42 millimeters and a case thickness of 10.6 millimeters. An all brushed stainless steel case, which is surprisingly well polished at this price point, and a dark brown leather strap. A fixed stainless steel bezel. The dial is a lovely green field aviation style with large white printed numerals, stark luminous hands, and Arabic numeral hour markers. Minute markers around the outer rim, date display at the 3 o'clock position. The watch is equipped with a solar powered Citizen Caliber EcoDrive E111 movement. A scratch resistant mineral crystal, solid case back. The leather strap is 21 millimeters wide with a tang clasp and 100 meters or 330 feet of water resistance. The third military field watch is a Vostok Komandersky. The 35K Commander. The Komandersky 35K Commander has an awesome white dial on the five ring Zulu nylon strap. Comes in at 42 millimeters on a brushed stainless steel case. Has the 2416B self winding movement, which has the 31 joules, 31 hour power reserve, anti shock balance, and the screw down crown. 100 meters. The matte white dial looks really good and definitely water resistance. aids in the legibility. Has the metallic polished luminous hands, luminous markers, bi directional bezel, the stainless steel case back with the original B logo. I really love the details on the dial with the red accents and the black date dial window paired with the white font. Next up is the Timex Expedition Scout Watch. Timex Expedition Scout has a heritage style, black ion plated case, natural dial, and brown genuine leather strap. The case size is 40 millimeters, and the watch is also quite thin, so it wears comfortably on the wrist. Has a date window at the three o'clock, luminous hands, 24 hour time, water resistance is 50 meters or 165 feet. Timex did a great job with this dial, matching the dial color with the date window. Also, the cream dial and the white hands look really good together, and a black seconds hand with the pointer at the tip. The watch also includes Timex's Indiglo backlight technology. The battery life has 10 years lifespan. The fifth and last military field watch is a really cool one coming from Nixon, the Time Teller watch. This watch is just really, really cool. It's a Nixon Time Teller, part of the Takahayashi collection, has a water resistance of 100 meters, quartz movement, the case diameter is 37 millimeters. Overall, a fantastic field watch with a nice little touch of color with the red. The case shape is really fantastic and has integrated lugs and tribal designs. The strap is genuine leather with really cool tribal patterns, very soft and durable. A really cool feature of the watch is the brown ion plated stainless steel case matches and pairs perfectly with the brown leather strap. The bezel is fixed and also ion plated. The matte black dial and brown hands and dot hour markers all play really well together. 